Hello guys, hello my people, my wonderful people, God bless you all. May the name of the Almighty God be praised, Amen, Hallelujah. Today, I am begging, I am begging the youth, everybody, I am begging you all. In any way that you have lost patience, I am begging you. Return back to patience. I am begging you. One of the key the enemy is using now against some family, against many people, against ministry, against beautiful uh, uh, relationship now is impatient. I beg you all to return back to the spirit of patience. Patience will gi give you love. I beg you. Because if you look at this era that we are now today, you will see different, different things that is going on in the world. You will see that things that don't supposed to be happening is not happening every day. It happens every day. And things that we don't supposed to be seeing, we are seeing it every day. Things that is supposed to be private before those days is, is, is always a private things we don't have privacy again privacy is not is existing in this era that we are now there's nothing like privacy again all they are doing now is is outside they are there they are, some people now are not living their life outside openly if it is possible they are ready to do undo outside openly without even considering shame or anything at all they do what they want because that is the era that we are living on and many people have lost their conscience they have lost it because of the era that we have now but the only people that will survive it because it's tougher than toughing they talk it is just the toughing is just beginning the beginning it's going to be tougher and tougher and tougher. It's already, that is what the law say. Nobody can change it. So the only thing that you need to survive in this life that we are living now is patient. You wonder me why a child of God, a believers, will lose their patience. I beg you all, return back to patience. Return back to the spirit of patience. It's calling you, God is calling you back to patience. In any way you have love patience, God is calling you to embrace the spirit of patience. It is not over until God says so in your life. It is not over yet until God says so in your life. That is why you must embrace the spirit of patience. Because God's children wait patiently for the God Almighty to answer their prayer to provide their needs. According to the to, to say, they say good things comes to those who who wait patiently. You see, when you become impatient in life, bad bad things begin to happen to you. You begin to have negative emotion. You begin to have negative characters when you lost patience. When you lost patience in life, you become hopeless. When you lost patience. And what is our logo? It's hope. And when you lost patience, you lost hope. You become hopeless. Tell me, how will a child of God become hopeless? Because he lost patience. How could that happen? How could it happen to a, a child of God? That the hope of God upon our life is to do us good, do us well. How will you not lost it? Christ is our hope. Jesus Christ is our hope. Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jireh is our hope. Is our creator. Why will you lost the patient that, that holds hope? Hoping for something that you have not seen. It is you to wait. Why will a child of God lose hope? A pastor lost hope with his member, bishop, reverence. 
Dickin, Dickinets, Edas, they lost patience. Everything now is just bars, bows, bars, bow. Why? Open your eye, my people. Open your eye. Let the spirit of impatience go out of your life so that you can see where. Because as 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 I say, he say patient people have a greater sense of gratitude. Eh? If you are patient in life, you will see things by yourself. If you are patient in life, when your time comes. You will be thinking you are the only one that is existing in the world. Patient. You don't need to lose patient in your life. Because it is only patient that you can survive in this life. Especially this era that we are living now. It's only patient that you need to live in this era. Without patient, you will go sharp, sharp. You can see many, many youths are dying, my people. I beg you, or embrace the spirit of patience. Let patience speak for you, the patient of God. Let it speak in your life. Don't be anxious. Please, don't run. Don't run. Don't run. I beg you, or running is killing many, many youths. It's killing many, many people. You want to buy a car. You are not even praying to buy a, 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 a small car that will, that will carry you to where you are going. But some people want to buy a car. They want to buy Ferrari. They want to buy Lamborghini. They want to buy Limousine. They want to buy Range Rover. It's good, but you have to start with your the one that you can afford first. Wait patiently. At the time you will enter your Lamborghini, at the time you will use it, <laughs> you will see that the one that I've been producing before, when you were not using, it will become whole cargo. The one they will be producing, the time your money comes out, it will be the latest one. La beginning of last two years, last year, that is not the one they are using now. There is a new one now, current one. Why would you lose patience, my people? Embrace the spirit of patience. I beg you. Wife don't have patience with Osman anymore. Husband don't have patience with his wife and his family anymore. Mother don't have patience with his children anymore. Sister, uncle, brothers, ah, uh ah, -uh, auntie, ah, uh ah, -uh, what is going on? Can't you see? It's the trick of the enemy that they are using against the children of God. Can't you open your eyes and see when you lost patience, you become hopeless? Can't you see when you lost patience, you become you will come you 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 will find it difficult to focus in life when you lost patience? How you will be saying it's negative, negative, and you will become frustrated. Frustration when you lost patience. Frustration will be, it will come upon that person. That is what patient did. When, when you lost it, you will be frustrated. Frustration will not be your brother, your sister. Arrogant. Negativities. It will not be your friends. You will not think where well again. You will, you, you, you will lose encouragement. To to, to 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 make good things in life you will lost it you will become hopeless as i say you will become so sad because the spirit of patience is gone out of you you now replace it with spirit of impatience which is very very bad you need to embrace god you need to embrace the spirit of patience i beg you many people are dying because they are not patient Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes 7, verse 8 to 12. And verse 8 and 12. Let me read verse 8 first and see what he said. He said, The end of a matter is better than it begins. And patience is better than pride. Then verse 12 says, Wisdom is a shelter as money is a shelter. But the advantage of knowledge is this. Is this. Wisdom 
Preserve those who have it. You see? You see? So, verse 13 say, Consider what God has done. Consider God has given you life. Why can't you wait patiently for God to answer your prayer? Many people are not the one answering their prayer by their self. That, you see, that is why you see premature dead everywhere. Everywhere. Things is going on wrongly. You pray to God, you don't have patience. The, the Bible teaches us that when you wait, when you pray to God, you wait patiently and receive the answer. But many people pray, but they don't wait for God to answer them. They are not the one answering their prayer by themselves. That is where the impatience come into their lives. You need to rebuke it. The verse 13 say, Consider what God has done. Who can stretch what he has made good? That, that this uh, chapter 11, uh, 13, verse 13, he's saying, what God have already been, who can straighten it? Nobody. Or what God has straightened, who can bend it? Nobody. Don't lose patience, I beg you all. Because this, the, the spirit of patience is our hope. God have given it to us. When you now apply the spirit of impatience to it by yourself, oh, 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 you become disaster. That means you are welcome disaster. Wait patiently for God. God still answer prayer. Wait patiently. The youth, I beg you all, wait patiently for God. Stop putting your hand for what you don't belong. Something that will consume you. Stop putting your hand in a bad thing. Something that will consume you. I beg you, I beg you. Children of God, pastor, bishop, whatsoever. If you are a God shepherd, return to God patiently and wait patiently for good things to be happening in your life. Return to God. Don't lose patience. A child of God don't need to lose patience. Return to God and God will bless every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen.